A big hello to everyone out there in Phoenix. Uh, it's Troy McCarthy, the president, just giving a final wrap up for the season for summer 1920. Um, what I want to do is go through a number of uh, bits and pieces to finish off this season and give some updates for next season. Firstly, finals. We are obviously all coming into finals and based on last year, half the club attended into finals. So hopefully we have the same again. Uh, just remembering if you do make and lucky enough to get through to a grand final, Grab it with both hands because they're not very easy to actually win. Okay, we are looking to hopefully get that 10 wins for the whole club with 63 teams. I've been doing this now for 10 years and I haven't been able to manage an A grade, an A grade win. Um, hopefully this season, but with that, just remember they are very, very hard to win. So when you do win them, cherish them. Uh, your tops, your singlets, just a reminder to all players going in who are not going to be continuing on in finals. Um, your top must be returned. Your team manager or coach should have a bag right now. Okay, if the coach or manager does not have a bag, please um, send a message through to the Phoenix phone. Say, hey, I haven't got a bag because we need them back because there is only a two-week turnover in the school holidays to get those tops back in, washed back out again for the next season. So please support us with that as well. Don't forget your top, kids, okay? Otherwise, you walk out without anything on. Um, intention to play forms. It's been uh, promoted pretty heavily. We need the intention for the play forms back in for next season. Even if you're not looking to play next season, we would really love you to fill that out. It just makes putting teams together so well. As you'd imagine, if we put a team of seven together and then two people don't let us know and we've got the team sitting there, okay, that brings it back to five and then we have to get fill-ins and it just becomes a domino effect of... Um, really, really difficult. So please help out our um, boys and girls coordinators and uh, get those intention to play forms in. Can I also ask the current coaches, if you are not intending to coach again, or you are intending to coach again, please also help us out and fill an intention to play form out to say, yes, I'm going to coach or no, I'm not. The 63 teams, okay, with a two week turnaround, we'll probably have six or seven coaches that are saying they are not continuing. And with that, we need to be able to fill them quickly, as you'd imagine, to get the season rolling for next season. Under eights, um, over the school holidays, we're looking to have a couple of high profile people run an under eights program. Uh, it'll be free. Uh, and what we want to do is really uh, get some new players in. And the best way to do that with our current under eights, if you're around for this particular thing when it's promoted, please come along, bring a friend. Okay, currently we have one or two boys that are actually looking to, to play under eights desperately. Okay, and if we lose those one or two boys and then we find out there were one or two more, we would have had four players and close to a team. We don't want to lose any players, so please support us in um, getting these under eights. So if we know any under eight boys, when this is promoted, it's a free thing, it's a free trial. Obviously no obligation, but please try to actually support our club. TikTok. For those um, who um, don't know, Tony Gudgeon has actually set up a complete new Facebook page okay, to make it a lot easier. All you have to do is have a like. Okay, We've done a TikTok competition. It doesn't have to be to TikTok. Um, any music coordination, we're getting a couple of fantastic things in. Okay, There is a prize for this, um, which we may amend. It may be per age group. We may do an age group thing. I'm not sure yet. I have to not open my mouth too much. I can't just spend club money, but I would love to think that we're going to get a lot of TikToks or a lot of entries with ball skills for 30 seconds. And we're basically from there, we can judge and work out some prizes from there. We really want to do this as a promotion for our Facebook page. Every person within our club should be on our Facebook page, which they're not. Please go on and like it because we want to do a lot of media stuff through there. We get updates, we get um, things like uh, skills days coming up for under fours. We really don't want to have to promote that through a team app scenario where everyone gets hammered. What we want to do is be able to put that up on our Facebook page and basically say, look, there's an under 14 boys and girls tryouts for um, Academy next season on blah, blah date at blah, blah time. This is the cost and then you guys are well informed of what's going on. But we do need you guys to hit that like page on our Facebook page. So get on the kids back, get them to do their ball handling skills to a bit of music. Doesn't have to be TikTok. But a bit of music, have a bit of fun, and throw it up on Facebook. Development. Next season, there's going to be some uh, high-end development. What we've done in the past is we've promoted a lot of development for the kids who are not A-grade within our basketball club. We will be doing that similar scenario again. 
like we did last time. So it'll be over probably a four week course. Um, but with that, what we are going to do is invite uh, up to groups of four um, for specialist training. So our high end kids will be actually invited to come along to some high skilled sessions to actually try to get them over one. We have such a high level of kids uh, in the Ballarat Squad program and what I'm trying to do is roll this out and um, support those kids that are already dedicated to basketball and get them from a really high level to that next level and understand what they've got to do to actually improve themselves to the high end basketball. Okay, um, so with that keep an eye out. Lastly, all the big thank yous to the coaches, team managers, to the parents, to the guardians. I say a big thank you and I ask any children that are actually watching this to actually take the time out. It might sound a simple feat, but to walk up to your parent and say, hey mum, hey dad, thank you for taking me to basketball. Because if they didn't, you wouldn't be there and we wouldn't be actually moving forward like we are. Okay, so you to the kids, say a big thank you to your mum and dad. Go and give them a kiss on the cheek, even better. Okay, I'll be telling my kids to make sure that they uh, come and make sure that they say thank you to me um, and their mum. To your coaches and team managers, please make sure we do finish off with a big thank you to them. It is 30 to 40 hours that they give per season to you, the individuals, and yes, it is for voluntary, and yes, they do it because they love basketball and they love what they're doing. Okay, so just make sure we give the big thank you. Do go and um, make sure that we extend that out to all the people who are helped, and then we're going to finish off really, really well. Lastly, it is a lastly, make sure that you encompass those wins that I said at the start. We do want to see 10 wins for the club. Unfortunately, in some perspectives, but great in others, we do get judged by how many wins we have as a club. I don't care whether it's red or A grade. Give me 10 people, give me 10 wins and there'll be a happy president. Okay, with that, good luck for finals. Make sure we play fair, play hard and um, get them over the line. Thanks very much for your time.